Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Tonight, Matthew, I've been mostly drinking, oh I haven't drunk it yet, I haven't even tasted it yet. It's uh, Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Priorat, and who makes it for them? Unio Corporatio Alimentaria. Uh, that's bottled by them, it sounds like a co-op, but uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, Sarah Grenache and a Mazuela. Um, I don't know why they put Mazuela on, because it's, it's Carignan. Um, but uh, Mazuelo, Mazuelo is the name it's known as uh, in Rioja, but Mazuelo, I've not seen that before. I've seen Carignano, I've seen Samso, which people don't, they, they, it's almost like one, a, a name that people have had to uh, um, shove on because it meets some bureaucratic thing, And because there's a place in Spain called Carignano, and some people get a bit iffy about it if you put that on. Shall I shut up and taste it? I think so. One of the first things I notice is there is... Um, I think it's an oak imprint. Uh, there is like a sawdusty type of character. Uh, there's quite a lot of rich raisiny flesh. It's funny, I've just tasted this after um, a uh, rather ripe uh, Rhone Red, which uh, came in at 15% alcohol. This is lower in alcohol, not much, 14.5% here. Um, but here, I, uh, it feels like the fruit has, got, has started to shrivel up. Um, and so you're getting those, um, yeah, the, the, those raisiny characters that uh, uh, sometimes disturb me in Priorat. I, I, I like my, I like my wines to have a little bit more freshness than uh, uh, rather than the raisiny characters. So it feels like someone has um, has been doing quite a bit of wine making on fruit that uh, maybe wasn't quite as fresh as it could be. Am I being a bit unfair about it? I'll taste it and find out. Rich, juicy, ever so slightly medicinal. Um, I like the rounded, rich, plump, plummy berry flavours. What I'm not so keen on is there's a dryness that comes through on the finish. And um, the dryness could come from a couple of things that I picked up when I was smelling it. Uh, one of them could be from oak tannins. The other could be from the, the fruit that's gone ever so slightly uh, too far down the ripeness, uh, ripeness uh, scale and uh, started to shrivel up. And so you're getting those dry tannins from um, uh, what the Australians call dead fruit. So I like bits of it. Uh, there, there is, there is a, a, a fresh and fragrant side, but there is also this, this, uh, this character that's just that little bit too uh, um, overripe and uh, slightly processed. So um, curious egg of a wine, um, and um, mm, I'll be. I'm, ta I'm doing a tasting this evening uh, where I'm, I'm taking some of these. I've, I've opened a few bottles today, uh, taking them up to try them with some people. And it'll uh, be interesting to see how this goes down. I've got a feeling that some of them will love that and some of them will find that those dry tannins. But um, uh, maybe if it's an interesting debate, I will report back. See you soon.